invite in a little prayer. Thanking the cards for being in our circles tonight. Bringing in the messages that they have to offer. Speaking to all of us individually. And also collectively. We trust what the cards have to say. For the cards do not lie. And also with Mercury Retrograde, it's a good time to find messages in other ways. And so we invite in this reading. And we listen to what needs to be received from it. So I'm starting with our past card. For the past, I pulled seven of wands. Now this could be the very recent past, like up, like the past week. It could mean the past month. It could mean the past season. It could mean the past year, okay? But whatever it is, it means that we have evolved and we have worked hard to do it. So seven, and this is a year of seven, by the way, right? Two plus two plus three is seven. Seven is the number of evolution, completion, the next step, the next level. Think seven days in a week, right? And after this week, it's the first week of 2023. We can maybe let go of that if we need to. But seven days of the week, seven deadly sins, seven chakras, right? Seven plays into a lot of symbolization around evolution. So we've done a lot of hard work to evolve, to change, to shift, to improve ourselves collectively and individually. I think we really have. And we're being recognized for our hard work. And we're also being told that now we're moving on to the next step, the next evolution, the next karmic path, the next challenge, the next soul journey and job, right? Because remember that healing isn't linear. It's an up and down, everlasting, ever life journey. I think the more that I talk to who I would consider some of my elders, the more I realize that we're always going to be working on ourselves. If we're in this spiritual path, we're always going to be seeking. We're always going to be curious. We're always going to be learning. We're always going to be finding things to heal. So take rest, enjoy this moon, be comfortable, recharge, and get ready for the work ahead for the next chapter of your evolution. For the present card, I love when I pull an ace card for our present. I pulled the Ace of Swords. This is the first full moon of the year. We're cutting those karmic knots. We're cutting ties. We're cutting relationships that no longer serve. We're cutting those webs that we are woven up and tangled in. We're cutting away and moving forward. We're getting the, the brush and what's overgrown out of the way too. What's ahead? Anytime we pull an ace, it's about new beginnings. Anytime we pull a sword, it's about cutting ties, cutting cords, breaking through, moving forward. I'm going to share a little personal story quick. I really made a hard decision in the past couple of months to niche down and stop doing some of the things that I normally do to make a living. Part of that is Reiki. I'm not saying that I'm not necessarily taking any Reiki clients right now. I'm just saying that I'm doing a lot less of it because I want to get attuned to my master level. And we had plans for it with my own master. Me and my master had plans in October and it didn't work. And then we had plans for November and it didn't work. And honestly, we're just so busy that we can't align it. And if I continue to overload my calendar, then I'm never going to be able to have the time to do that. So I made a hard decision back in October to start letting go of some of my clients or putting them on hold just strategically with the holidays and everything. And then I had somebody reach out yesterday to schedule a session. And I made the hard decision to tell them that I wasn't available and that I was making space to attune for my master and that I needed to focus on that and that Really, I'm making very few exceptions for this. And they understood and they were cool with it, thankfully. 
But here's what happened today, because the other thing that I really want to focus on is helping women and empowering women. And whether that be through self-healing themselves emotionally and energetically, if that means helping them through their glass ceilings that limit their ability to support themselves or reach their dreams, or whether it be helping them through pregnancy and labor and birth and postpartum and with their babies, or whether it be helping them heal themselves physically with core and pelvic floor dysfunction. Like that's just where I'm moving. I'm moving more towards that. And so Interestingly enough, when I let go of this client yesterday and I said, hey, I'm just like probably not going to be available. It's probably a no. I'm setting a boundary, really. I got a phone call today from a pretty important person that wants to take private lessons from me to heal their core and pelvic floor dysfunctions that they're dealing with. And I know that that opportunity would not have arrived today if I had not let go of that client yesterday. And if I had not let go with grace and gratitude and love, because that's key, right? There's no no qualms, no bad energy, no nothing. I'm just trying to better myself. I'm trying to elevate myself, right? The seven, I'm trying to move to the next evolution of my career and what I want to offer. And with that, I have to create space. And I believe that any time I ever decline a client because either we're not the right fit or it's not the right time or whatever it may be, any time I let go of a client or the potential of a client, I know that I am always creating space for something better and more aligned. And so when I did that yesterday, I also said to the universe, I'm releasing this to make space for something better and more aligned. And then I got that phone call today. So Ace of Swords is big. You know, you're releasing karmic patterns, karmic knots, karmic ties, and it really does help you move on to the next evolution of yourself. Now in the future card... I pulled the fool, but in reverse. So the fool is related to Mercury, which is retrograde. The fool is related to communication and expression. This is the mermaid. So it's like the story of the little mermaid who gives up her voice to become more human. Also funny because mermaid or merman energy is the sign of Capricorn and we're in the full moon. So we're opposing the sun in Capricorn. We're opposing the mermaid right now, and she's upside down here for our future. But this is about moving forward in a different way, okay? So anytime we have the full upright, it's the very first card in the tarot when it's about starting your journey and kind of being blissfully ignorant about it, being really excited about it, maybe not knowing what's ahead, but just taking that leap of faith. When we have it upside down, it's about maybe taking a new pattern that's similar to the old but different. Maybe a shift in career, maybe a shift in home, something like that coming in the future. It's about breaking addiction. It's about breaking patterns that no longer serve. By the way, this full moon in Cancer, it's a watery moon. It's an emotional moon, and sometimes it can be a connected to addiction. Addiction is connected to excess energy in the sacral chakra in your internal water element or internal moon. So pay extra attention to addictions this weekend, trying to break those patterns. Also pay attention if you drink. If you drink alcohol, you want to be really moderate this weekend and don't take in these things to numb your feelings. You really need to emotionally process right now. Okay. So the fool is upside down because she's a little bit more grounded. She's not so blissfully ignorant. She's had past experiences that have molded her to make the choices moving forward. There's still a little bit of the unknown ahead. She's still taking leaps of faith. She's still taking sticking to her truest expression of herself. But with that, there's, you know, going to be some some stuck energy. There's going to be a little bit of a struggle. There's going to be a little bit of a push and a pull in that decision of what you want to do and where you want to go. So I think we need a little bit of clarity. I pulled a final card for the entire year for guidance. I got another reverse card. I got the nine of swords. 
So the nine of swords, first off, nine is about rebirth. Nine is about gestation. Think about nine months in the womb. Think about nine planets, right? But this isn't the only galaxy, and one day this galaxy will die and be reborn, right? Nine is different from seven, and so it's not evolution. It's not the next chapter of the journey you're on. It's about, you know, becoming a completely different person. But it's also about doing it swiftly and quickly. We have the swords, okay? So anytime you have the nine of swords upright, you're kind of like cutting the last ties that you need to to become the next person that you're ready to become or evolve and whatever. I don't want to use the word evolve, but you know, um, become an entirely new person, shed your skin, so to say. When you have it upside down, it's a slower journey. It's about you thinking about what you want to detach from a little bit more slowly. But then at, when it comes to actually taking action, you've got to do it swiftly. Okay? So maybe there's something that you've been thinking on and thinking on and thinking on for a while. But you haven't taken action yet. You've got to do it here in the future. Okay? You've got to make that swift decision and just rip the band-aid off, cut the tie, and move forward. Kind of like I did with this client that I had been seeing for several years. Also, if you come into this next future year and you get into a point where you're dwelling on something or thinking about something or holding yourself back from making a decision, use your logic. She's upside down. She's on her head. Use your head and use your soul consciousness. But then make a quick decision and don't look back. Cut the tie and don't look back. This is the energy of 2023. If we want to evolve, if we want to reach that potential of seven, our next evolution, then we have to allow ourselves to make quick change without hesitation, without regret, and move forward with that sword ahead, sword held high, and ready for what's to come. 